before the machine uh, is working, be sure that the free wires is well installed in the lowest part of the machine, as we show in the video right now. There are three ports in the black side, the lowest part. Once the three wires are well installed, you have to turn off, lift up the free, the free uh, circuit breaker up, up the, up, up the the machine, electrical machine. The rest of the the rest of the electric part does not need to check. Everything will be okay. Normally, if the machine is correctly. Uh, uh, well installed so we have to check in the second part with the air compressor there are three parts in inside the machine that you need to understand the first one is the first motor for feeding the wire in the machine the second part is the second motor for bending the wire and the last part the last motor inside the machine is for cutting the wire there is one component inside the machine, the last part, just right here. Uh, it is customized and depends on the customer because it does not need to be inside the machine and depends. it, it, it depends uh, according to the customer if he wants it or not. It's for hooking the, the wire. You need to pay attention with some part inside the machine. The first is this black screw has to be always uh, tight and this part you don't have to touch it during the operation and the last part is this white tube this is the machined oil from this oil tank you have to lift down or press down this level so you can put and share all oil within the machine especially from the bending and the cutting side if you have noticed inside the machine there are two belts these belts has to be tightened in the wheel if you notice that it is loosened a little bit you have to screw in the left side from the first belt and with the second belt you have to screw at the right side to tighten uh, closely with the wheel the big one and the small one pay attention with some other parts inside the machine the first part is connected with the air compressor which you uh, which show you the bar the, of the pressure it could be 0.6 mpa connecting the air compressor the second part with the air compressor is the oil tank. The oil tank has to be filled uh, with 650 cc inside the machine. It's useful to understand that you have to fill it with the oil. The last part you need to understand is when you need to clean each part inside the machine, just like need uh, this pump to clean each part inside the machine. The pressure is always indicated 0.6 MPA inside the machine. With the air compressor control, we can adjust the pressure actually in that side. The first of all, you have to lift up the handle. With the air compressor, there is a yellow indication just in the lower part of the air compressor pump over here. If you use the machine for three days continuously, you have to pull out the water from the pump of right just right here, so it can uh, uh, let the machine cool cool off. In the front of the rebar bending machine. Uh, R8 there is some knobs that you need to uh, uh, understand how to uh, manipulate the first knob is for open and close the cover of the machine when you lift down it open the cover as you can see 
and you lift up it close up the cover the next knob that you need to understand is when you open the cover of the of the machine there are four wheel here the first four wheels here needs to be tightened or loose so you need to lift up to lose the first wheel lift down to tighten the wheel the pressure indicator here is adjusted by this uh, last knob actually to uh, adjust the the diameter of the the pressure when you use the machine it depends on the diameter of the wire which that you are using during the operation when the machine is ready to work on don't forget to turn on the screen there is a key over here you just turn to the right to turn on on the screen and then to the left to turn off the screen now we are ready to use and operate first you have to feed the machine from the feeding part the wire manually until it reach the first four wheel second press the knob to tighten the wheel close to the wire and then tighten the wheel from the feeding part now the wire is moving forward and it is controlled by one of the buttons from the screen the first black at the left side you have to turn this button to the right side then the wire move forward between the five pairs of wheel the lower part wheel uh, from where the wire received uh, uh, by the wheel has to be tightened and the screw is in the upper part of the wheel so you have to be careful that the wheel has to be tight and close, very close to the wire, then the wire won't be movable. When the wire is moving forward until it reach, it reach the last part of the machine straightening, uh, keep the speed slow, slower so it can reach in the last side of the, of the machine. When the wire is ready to be cut and work, just go back again and check each wheel if it's loose or not, just tight if it's loosen, just screw up each screw for the wheel. Before cutting or bending the wire, we are going to go back again with one particular wheel, this one. In fact, when you move forward the wire until it reach this area if you see that the wire is going up you have to lose a little bit this wheel so you have to lose from this screw so in another way if the wire goes down a little bit you have to tighten a little bit the screw from this wheel the wire normally has to be straight line with the this line before cut or bend the wire we are now focusing on the screen plc model of the rebar bending machine r8 in the screen uh, when you want to start it you have to turn the key to the right side then turn the third button in the middle and then press the start button the green one this operation is for controlling the rotative equipment for bending the wire then you turn after that to the right it means it's going to operate automatically then you press start again the machine will work automatically when you elaborate one shape from the machine here there is a finished product i'm going to show you uh, some sim simple simple things that you need to understand before you touch the screen okay this one is the headband in the machine it has to be 60 millimeter and this length is going to be a and this one is b in the parameter that we are setting in the screen it's going to be the a 200 millimeter b 200 millimeter and remember this headband is 60 millimeter on the screen this is for a square shape now we are going to reproduce the first shape the square one on the screen just pay attention of each step 
All right, the first one is like press the template, choose the selective uh, graphic. Then we have here parameter. The first one you have to press the 60, the headband. Press enter. The A is 200. Enter. And the last one, B, 200. Another headband is 60 millimeter. Enter. Once the parameter has been set up, you have just to press the middle, um, a middle cell using the graphical set, so the programming system will automatically operate it. When everything is set up, actually you can press the start and then the machine will reproduce the shape that, as you want. The next shape that I'm going to show is about the triangle. There is a simple with me right now and the process is the same. A, B and in the machine it's going to be the headband. There is a parameter that you have to set up on the screen. The second shape is a triangle. Another figure that we want to reproduce from the screen is the triangle. The process is the same as we select with the square one. Right, the first one is press the template one and choose from here, from the screen, the triangle. As you can see, there are about five parameters that you need to set up. The first one and the last one is about the, the head bent length. The A, the B and C will be the, the corner with, of the triangle. In our set, a parameter that we are setting is about 60 mm for the headband, 200 mm for the, each corner of the triangle. Once you set up each parameter, just press the cell using the graphical so the machine will do it automatically. Press when all parameter is uh, setting up, just press start and the machine will reproduce the figure as you want.